Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Ethereal Luna Moth and Beauty A-003 and She Modern Pearly Green Sticky Stampin' Polish and Sparkling Green Mint Pixie Powder. I've got Nail Teaks Formula 2 on my nails and this is Luna Moth from March 2022 Polish Pickup. You guys... When I ordered this, I thought, oh, you don't need that when you've got something like that in your collection already. I'm happily to just, I'm so surprised that I don't have anything. Because this looks so different in the bottle than it did on my nails. I'm telling y'all, this was a stunning polish to wear. I wore it for a solid seven days and I did not want to take it off. It is insane pretty. So we've got our two coats on and now I'm going to top it with INMs out the door and we're going to get this one to dry down so we can play with some She Modern goodies today. I'm really excited about this. Now I of course am doing a voiceover so I already know what this manicure looks like when I'm done. Oh, one of my absolute favorites ever. Look at that. Beautiful. Beauty A-003. I have no idea where this came from. It's a butterfly plate. I've got my jelly stamper from She Modern. And this is the pearl green sticky stamping polish. And I'll be using the sparkling green mint glitter pixie powder from She Modern. I got my little brush out. So here we go. Let's just jump right on in. I'm doing different images on different nails and uh, playing like I do. So this one's like a half a butterfly and it's going on that middle nail. And then I'm going to do a different image that's a half a butterfly going the other way on the nail beside it. And I just thought that that would be a cool way to do it. I'm here to tell y'all, I think I'm like in love with the She Modern sticky stamping polishes. I mean, seriously, if this would have been out when I first got started, I promise you I wouldn't have struggled like I did trying to learn how to stamp. These things are amazing. I do clean my stamper off on a lint roller and um, when I get around to cleaning the plate, it'll get cleaned with some acetone. But while these two are still tacky, I'm gonna tap, tap, tap some of the pixie powder over both of these nails and then I'm going to take my um, finger and just tap it in. I'm not trying to mush too hard because that polish, the stamping polish is still wet and I don't want to distort the image. So I'm just lightly tapping it in there and ooh wee glitter bomb. I'm going to leave those alone for a little bit and I'm going to just carry on with stamping and the sprinkling with the beautiful pixie powder or pixie glitter. I'm, I'm telling y'all, this manicure rocked. I literally did not want to take this one off. And that, like, never happens. As much as I love a manicure, normally I'm ready to move on to the next one. <laughs> that was not the case with this one. So with these She Modern little bottles, you just tap the bottom of it. And it'll dispense some of the glitter. They don't just come pouring out. You got to kind of tap to get them to, you know, let loose. Let loose with some of that. Um, just oh, can't wait for y'all to see the final product. So here we go. And this is like just a big wing from a moth. And I figured since this was Luna Moth was my base polish. That's kind of what inspired me to go this way with this manicure. And it didn't fit very good on my little pinky nail, but I got, you know, I got some on there. And I picked up a little bit of that dust off the, off the napkin. And then I put some more on and I'm going to tap it in. And I do let this sit for a little bit while I, you know, kind of clean up and whatever. I'm going to do my clean up and let those um, stampin' polishes dry a little bit with the glitter on them. So I'm cleaning that plate with pure acetone, and then I'm wiping it with a paper towel, I believe, or a lint-free wipe, whatever works for you. 
And here I'm just taking my little soft brush and I'm dusting off the excess onto a paper towel um, just so that I can, you know, collect it and without making a mess. I am going to go in here with my cleanup brush and do just a little bit of tidying up. You guys can already tell this is stunning already and I hadn't top coated it or nothing yet, y'all. <laughs> Seriously, favorite manicure. I'm going to use the sealer, the clear, clear sealer from She Modern. And, you know, I don't know that you necessarily have to use this. Um, I just used it because I had it. And, you know, I'm going to seal that in. And then I'm going to put my posh top coat over the top of it once it's totally dry. And we're going <laughs> to wrap this one up. And I've taken a lot of pictures. So at the end, I've got like close-ups of each finger and then the full hand. So here we go with that. I mean... Oh, hi, Woody. How you doing? So here we go with the swatch photos. There's my thumb. And then that's the pointer finger, the middle fingernail, the ring fingernail, and then here is the pinky. And you guys, I love this one. But I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.